All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Got another. We got another one that's what they call done to death videos here. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, show one of one of my favorite knives that I like here. It's a Gerber, right? And I want to bring, bring out some points about it. Um, I bent that that clip so that it would fit on the pocket because it was very, very tight. I might have bent it just a little bit more than I need to. It should have been bent there instead of way up there. I should have just bent it right about there. But it is what it is. Now, ain't no bending it back, but I'll keep taking it off. But yeah, this knife here has what they call the plunge lock on it. And it has these uh, two indentments here where the metal comes through for these thumb, thumb studs to rest up against. But these are thumb studs. When you deploy them, they go right up against those that tank stop. Okay? And uh, it becomes like stop pins, but I'm sure that these aren't the stop pins. Okay, these aren't stop pins. They probably help help assist in that in some way, shape, or form. But that's not what they are. It's probably some kind of internal stop pin in there. Okay? But yeah, this is a really good knife. It's a Gerber. It's called the Gerber Instant. It's got G10 scales with some uh, metal in the, uh, stainless steel and metal in the inside liners. Really strong, really fast. It lives up to his name. It's the instant. Cuts real good, too. Uh, it's got an aggressive tip on it. Really aggressive. And if I had to give it, had to say it was good for something, I'd say it's, it's, got, it's good for, for uh, cutting hard, hard, tough, coarse material, especially with those serrations. And it's got a real military look to it, a militant look to it, if you ask me. And it's not It's good for cutting this way, but it's not good for holding this way. Because if your thumb hits that plunge lock, it's going to fail. If you're holding a hammer grip, it can fail. But the saber grip is good all day and it's tough all day. But it can, you can hold it in a hammer grip as long as you don't hit that. Because it will fail. So yeah, this is a good knife. The Gerber Instant. I, I've had it for some years now. I haven't had no problems with it. Just when I first got it, it was really tough to, uh, to get it to deploy, get it to open. But it's fine, well broken in now. Lives up to his name. That's a Gerber. They like 50 bucks. And most places. I mean, it's probably a few places where you can get it cheaper. But if you find it, especially even at Walmart, it's going to be 50 bucks. Now, here's one. My Kubaton. Uh, nah, just joking. So, yeah, this is um, a buck 110, as everybody know. But I added a uh, thumb stud, a quick, quick. Uh, thumb stud on here that's what it's called quick thumb stud and you just take it and you got a little piece in there you screw that with an allen wrench that they give you until it's tight good and snug not over tight but good and snug and it'll hold you can open this with one hand makes it a lot more fun to own and more pleasant to carry because then you ain't got to be fiddling with trying to open it with one hand you can open it with one hand 